everyone. Welcome to Xinhua Live. This is Ding Ting with China's Xinhua News Agency. I am now at the National Convention Center, also the Exhibition Center. Here, what is going on is the Auto Shanghai 2023. So let's take a look at the exhibition area here. So during today's Xinhua Live, we will take you to visit the latest trend of the cutting edge technology show on the auto show. So the booth we are going to visit, the first one gonna be Westwell. So what you can see is the two electrical uh, truck. So let's talk to the staff here. Hi, 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 good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Ah, okay, Hello. so can you give us a brief introduction? Uh, hi, uh, I'm Sarah. I'm from the Komolo product teams and the product manager. Okay, yes. so manager Sarah, so yes. can you <laughs> uh, can you tell us how many times have you come to the uh, Auto Shanghai show? Um, it's actually our second time for Westwell to come to the auto show. Last time was in 2019. 19. Yes, and yes, then because the Auto Shanghai show held every two years for one time. Yeah. So from the display product to the area of the booth, is there any difference from the last time? I think the most obvious difference for the, about the booth is we have expanded our booth from 96. Um, uh, square meters to 400 square meters, so wow, big chance. That's four times. <laughs> what a yes. big difference or what a big improvement. So what we can see now is the truck and the name of it, I can read that is Q truck. Yes. It looks very cute. Yeah, <laughs> it's very cute, right? And so it is fully automation? Yeah, it's fully automation. And this is actually the first generation of our Q truck. Mm -hmm. In the last time the uh, presentation in 2019, it's our first generation. Okay. And right now we have upgraded to uh, the swap, swap changing version. It supports you a swap changing, uh, battery swapping, sorry, battery okay. swapping quickly. Yeah. Okay. And this uh, uh, Q truck. This Q truck is, has already uh, during the vessel operation in the Thailand Lanchanbang terminal for about two, two to three years. Okay. Yes. And from here you can see um, this is um, our culture, all the Komolo vehicle products, we all use the same module designs. So this part, you can see we don't have the cabin at all. So we, and we have the LED light here. So we will use this light to communicate with the manual driver. Uh, like that, the, the behavior of the of the Q truck, and here is the battery. So when it supports both fast charging and the battery swatching, when you do the battery swatching, it will open up and uh, swatch the battery here. Oh, that's yes. a very cool way yeah. for the charging problem. Yeah. So can you elaborate more on the highlights of the brand on this year's auto show? Like, uh, is there anything a new debut here? Yeah, this year we bring a new bring a new friend e, e truck here from okay. our Komolo so family. This, the this one. truck just in front of us. Yes, yes. And our uh, our e truck is a, a commercial commercial vehicle, which uh, we actually tailored for the customers who you know who are undergoing the autonomous transformation during for the logistics. Okay. So it can meet their needs to upgrade their traditional fuel vehicle to electric vehicles first. But on the other hand, uh, you know, it also uses our Komolo module design. So it uses the same chassis with our Q truck. Mm -hmm. So in the future, if our customer has the, you know, the, uh, the demand to use autonomous uh, truck, they don't need to buy a new truck at all. They can just use our e-truck to upgrade, you know, installing some sensors and uh, do the system upgrade OTA. So they can directly switch between autonomous driving and, uh, and uh, manual driving. Okay, so very the generation one and the generation two, they are very smart. Yeah. And it, it is invertible. Yes, yes. And it can save the cost for our customers. You can just use one. So I can read from the screen that uh, our truck has go to many countries. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, until now, our Westwell products and services have covered uh, 16 countries and regions. We serve more than 160 customers all over the world, including Thailand, Malaysia, and uh, United Kingdom, etc. Yeah, especially for the Thailand here, you can see the video. This is the this is the real time 
operation video from Thailand. We've been operating three years, as I just mentioned. I think in 2020, April, our, it's our Q truck first time and officially entered the Thailand terminal. Oh, that's the real picture yeah, that your application in yeah. the Thailand for the night is very oh, busy. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yes. And totally no people in the truck. No people in the truck. Okay. We don't have the cabin at all. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And also, I think the, the, the new version, the support battery swapping version, also landed in Thailand last year, in mm -hmm. October. Oh. Yeah. And also, maybe later we'll show the e-truck as well. We, and e-truck also landed in Thailand in December mm -hmm. as well. So all the trucks, all our vehicles in Thailand, they have already put into the actual vessel operation mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. And you have mentioned about your uh, performance overseas as a green energy pioneer. So how is Westwell doing in like the new energy sector? As until now in Thailand, uh, we have already carried, completed about uh, up to 250,000 containers for the vessel operation. Mm -hmm. And I think it's for it's, you know, the new technology and the intelligence is the uh, Unevitable trend for the whole global market with uh, uh, of the commercial vehicles, and now uh, as we dis introduce the, the battery swapping mode, also accelerates this mode for the commercial vehicles, and uh, all the vehicles in our commercial products metrics they support uh, fast tra fast charging and uh, swap charging. Yeah, uh, fast charging it will be a future trend. Yes, yes, and here you can see this is the. Uh, uh, a little introduction Power about our, on our, air. On air. It's the yeah. name for of our sw uh, swapping station. Okay. Yeah, it supports both our e truck and the Q truck. They can finish uh, charging uh, battery swapping in five minutes. Okay. Yes, that's so cool. You know what? I like your slogan so much. That is from human to human. So yeah. first you design and you produce, you you apply, and then it back to the human being. It help human to do things better. Yes, yes. Uh, we definitely and uh, until now we we have delivered uh, all the products we have delivered for our customers, uh, no matter in overseas or in the Chinese terminals like the Tianjin port and the Xiamen port and the mini and like other kind of terminal. We like also have a lot of application uh, in in China. China as well. Yes, yes. So we are very proud of the fact that I think Westwell is global and uh, strong enough to we, we we are global and strong enough to provide the overall. A solution for our customers, including the you know the vehicle metrics and the autonomous uh, hardware and the software and also the cloud services. Yes, I think this is also the hope of the Chinese technology Chinese technology company to go further. Yes, so. yes. Okay. Also, and for for Westwell, we adhere to the rules. We uh, about the full stack development and the innovation. We do not only focus on the vehicle one autonomous vehicle development we also pay a lot of attention about the research and the development and the innovation for the new technology we aim to provide a whole general and global solution for our customers for the overall logistics yeah that is very incredible thank you sarah thank, thank you. you okay so let's move let's move our visit toward the area of the automotive technology and the supply chain so the Auto Show, Auto Shanghai 2023, it is the first A-class international auto show held in China since the country optimized its COVID-19 response. Auto Shanghai is held every two years, just as what we have mentioned. And this year marks the 20th. It covers entire vehicles, automotive supply chain, and also for the automotive technology enterprises. And in the Auto Shanghai 2023, the automotive technology and the supply chain exhibition area covers an area of 30,000 square meters, occupying a total of three exhibition hall with new technology and new products. You can also find a way of future life. Okay, the second booth we are going to visit is from Valio. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, 
so can you first have a self-introduction with us? Sure. My name is François Marion. I'm a member of the executive committee of uh, Valeo, a French automotive supplier company. Uh, welcome to our booth. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So uh, first, I'm attracted by the huge screen you just show on the booth. So what is that for? Can you explain this? it for us? This screen is very important. Um, this screen is actually what the intelligent car will be seeing thanks to innovations coming from Valeo. Mm -hmm. So what you can see on the top of the screen is what is called a LiDAR. Uh, this LiDAR is actually a laser which is making a 3D picture of what is in front of this sensor, in front of the car, and you can see your silhouette in uh, front uh, on the screen yes. thanks to the LiDAR. Can wave, wave my hand. You can Hi. wave our hand. Hello. Yes, yes. Where we are standing. And this is our third generation of LiDAR, uh, which has a resolution of 12.5 million uh, pixels. Okay, that's very cool. And it makes us do better understanding what you are doing and uh, of the third generation of the LiDAR. So the second product I want to show to you are all the sensors, computers and software which we offer to uh, all the car makers to make the car more intelligent. So what you can see here is the complete suite of sensors that Valeo is providing. We are providing ultrasonic sensors, radar. You can see again the same LiDAR as the one we show uh, that was making the nice uh, 3D point cloud. Yes. These are the sensors. These are the eyes and ears of the intelligent cars. Then what you need as well in uh, the car of tomorrow is the brain. Oh, the brain right. is the computer and you can see it in here. Okay. So Valeo has the first order uh, in a partnership with uh, BMW, first order or what we call a domain controller, uh, which is actually the brain of the car. It's a computer that runs the very important software that will make the car understand its environment and then react based on its environment. So I mentioned the sensors, I mentioned the computers, but we of course provide all the sensors that make this car intelligent. So this is very, very important because in China, the, there is a revolution going on uh, on the automotive market is that the car has a lot, a lot of features which are what we call advanced driver assistance systems or it's actually everything that makes the car more intelligent, more autonomous. And we as Valeo, we are in the heart of this revolution. We have uh, 4,000 engineers in, uh, in China and um, Okay, I have spent five years in uh, Shanghai uh, until last July. When I left, we had 3,000 engineers. We now have 4,000 engineers working on the technologies of tomorrow because we are extremely confident about the Chinese market and the evolution of the automobile market in China. I've learned that you are already rooted in Chinese market for totally 30 years. So how do you value the Chinese market today? The Chinese market, automobile market, is um, growing very, very fast. Um, it has uh, also, it is also encompassing two big revolutions. The first one I mentioned a lot is that the car is becoming much more autonomous, much more intelligent. But there is obviously a second generation going on, a second change in generation going on, which is the car is becoming much more electrified. It is the world of the electric car today in China. More than 30% of the cars are electric. The Auto Shanghai 2023, according to the organizer, about 1,000 enterprises from 20 countries and regions participate in the auto show and around 1,500 complete vehicles were displayed. With 13 indoor exhibition hall, it boosts a total exhibition area of more than 360,000 square meters. The show organizer said the event will eject a great confidence and vitality into the global auto market. And the theme of this year's auto show is embracing the new era of the automobile industry. Okay, now our last stop, we have come to the booth of Continental. Okay, so let's talk to the staffer here. Hi, can you first give us a self-introduction? Hi, hello, uh, I'm Joy Han from Continental China communication team and welcome to our booth. Okay, so which part will you take us to the 
take first? Yeah, at Auto Shanghai, this time we demonstrate a safe, sustainable, and uh, intelligent solutions. So maybe we can take a look. First of all, we can go to the safe part. This area is for our safe technologies, and uh, we have the electric drum drum brake systems. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can introduce my technology okay. person to give you an introduction. Okay, so you know the traditional brake, they are using hydraulic, uh, so-called hydraulic brake system, but in the future, in order to fulfill the requirements of the new of ECO's uh, electrical electronic architecture, and also to bring benefits in the maintenance, and also to bring benefits uh, to the performance of the brake system. We are introducing the dry brake system. The dry brake system, we always call it the EMB, electrical mechanical brake. Now Continental is providing a uh, drum type brake. Compared with the caliper, the, the E-drum, we call it the EDS, this E-drum, the effective is very effective, which means you the small motor, you can provide a very big brick force. And uh, the packaging means the size of this um, um, brick drum is very small. It's easy for us to put it uh, in the uh, chassis, in the in the uh, wheel, and uh, it will need less uh, power because uh, the very effective drum brake. And uh, uh, in addition, that um, because the drum brake is a close structure, with this close structure, that um, it will uh, make all the friction powder always within this um, structure, not uh, uh, to the to the air. So it is also friendly to the um, to the uh, environment. Okay, that's okay. it. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Now, uh, because the automotive driving is the trend for the future mobility, so now we have the uh, leaders technologies. This is the first time to show to the public. Maybe yes. my colleagues can give you more sure. introduction. Okay. Well, thank you. Welcome thank to our you. LiDAR booth. Okay. Uh, this is our ultra long range high resolution LiDAR product from Continental. Uh, when I say long range, our LiDAR can see or detect pedestrians at 300 meters and vehicles at 500 meters with a very high resolution. Right. Uh, we are also very robust, so it's basically a MEMS technology, which is near solid state. So it has very few moving parts inside. It has two very small MEMS mirrors, which are oscillating at a very high frequency. So it is uh, very robust against high vibration and shock in vehicles. Right. Um, one of the other features that we are the only ones who bring to the market is the adaptiveness. So uh, we are an adaptive LiDAR, which we can adapt to different scenarios the vehicle is in. For example, uh, we with the long range LiDAR, you can use it for a highway pilot. So you're going on a highway, so a long range, and then you pull over to an urban setting, to a city. Uh, you can actually switch the scan pattern, so you can adapt to the new surroundings by moving from a high range LiDAR to a medium range to a more wider field of view. So we can basically adapt to the scenario the vehicle is in from a highway pilot to a more city and everything happens without, you know, with the software, right? So that is one of the unique features that we can bring to the market. Uh, our laser also produce very less heat. So the thermal management capability is really good. So we don't need any active cooling or external cooling. So the, the, the product is self-sufficient. Uh, it has a very sophisticated thermal management system. Uh, we have two different varieties of LiDARs that you see here. That is called the compact. Basically, that is typically meant to be placed in the grill of the vehicle. And this is the rooftop design, typically meant for the rooftop of the vehicle. It has the exact same resolution, the same components, the architecture, only a different design and a different form factor. So the OEM can decide to use the product as per where they want to have it, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Next solution I want to display with you, the digital access systems. Okay, Let's so take a this part no, is yeah. which I'm very interested in. Yes. Okay. Maybe our yeah. technical person can introduce. Hi. Yes, hi. hi. Yes. This can is you show us how to play with this one? <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting because it shows different user cases uh, of our user. I just choose a mobile phone. Yes. If I put yes. it here, what will uh, happen? Then we can switch it to English. Ah, yeah. 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 And you can see this is a kind of a smartphone uh, user cases. Yeah. And you can see our end user just approaching the car. Yeah. And then uh, the car is connected with, with the smartphone. And it can uh, just open the door and to start the engine. 
yeah, without any physical key. Now let's go to the sustainable part. We have a very interesting e-contact and MBS. Now okay. let's first take a look for the e-contact part. Okay, no this problem. is tailored for the Chinese uh, NEV market. Okay. Yes, please. This is our first line for China market NEV consumer. Uh, so uh, Continental tailor made uh, a EV uh, tire e contact to address Chinese market. Uh, we leverage our advanced uh, technology, county seal and county silent, to provide uh, our Chinese consumers with a silent and a safe travel. Okay, so yeah. the tire is first just applied into the Chinese market, yeah, and in the yeah. near future, maybe it will transfer to, to, to the global hope. market. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So that's very cool. Yeah. Okay, and the last stop we will visit is uh, like a mini van just in front yes, of us. It's uh, designed based on Volkswagen T2 concept car. It's called uh, Ambience. Ambience. Yeah, Ambience. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, Linda, please. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Hello. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. So, can you give us an introduction about Ambience? Yes, this is a concept car from Surface Solutions. Oh. What makes it very special is the combination of functionality, design, sustainability, service space, and customer orientation. Mm, sustainable mobility is always the future trend we are chasing. That's correct. And if you look and feel the material in this ambience, you will feel it lies as nature as possible. Oh, okay, let me have a try. Just like the seat, yes. the material of the seat. Okay. The touch is, is very the soft. Uh, yeah, very soft. And uh, the material is the sustainable one? Yes. Okay. Um, if you need, the recipe and design can be adapted. The material can be 100% recycled. Wow, that's very cool. Yes. And you can see there is also the ambient light. Yes. That is thanks to the highlight concept. Mm -hmm. Highlight concept means the translucent material. Mm -hmm. And then we can give the design maximum options to from the ambient lighting effect to the walling oh, effect. And, uh, and you know we have a motto for our ambience. Oh, that is the retro means future. Oh. So we have the very traditional older car construction, but the interior in this concept car is very model, yeah. very visionary. Yeah. That is uh, representing the future, future mobility yeah. needs. Yes, it's very cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Thank you. From the perspective and the coverage of the participating companies and the brands, as well as the innovation and the representativeness of technological products, the automotive technology in the supply chain exhibition area, as where we are, is undoubtedly become another must come place for the Auto Shanghai 2023 in addition to the entire vehicle like what we have mentioned more intelligent safer and more sustainable are always the keywords for the future trends of the of automotive industry okay so that's all for today's xinhua live see you next time goodbye guys goodbye